The U.S. new big deal makes them unstoppable in the mission that caught the world's attention. This force will be a game changer in many ways as it will pose as a strong force to the enemy. So, who is this enemy? Let me remind you, the world has been preparing for war, especially the Western countries. You see, Kenya and USA ties have not start now. This relationship boasts years since independence. High security delegates from U.S. have been frequenting Kenya for some time now, including U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. For those who don't know, U.S. Defense Secretary is not just another visitor. The Secretary of Defense holds significant authority, being second only to the President in military matters. Underline the word second only to the President in military matters. This man is responsible for defense policy and have legal powers that exceed those of any commissioned officer. That's how powerful he is. And many saw this as just a normal visit. Boy oh boy, it's not. During his visit, he praised what he called the strong relationship between U.S. and Kenyan forces as he met with troops from the two countries. Again I need you to underline the word strong relationship. Do you now see my point? And that's not all. There is a new plan that was widely criticized by some. Guess what? It's now a reality. Now bigger and better. Let me explain. Watch this video till the end as this new plan by the US and Kenya will surely surprise you. The geopolitical dynamics surrounding Kenya's involvement with the United States and its allies in the war against the Houthis in Yemen, indirectly linked to Israel's conflict in Gaza, underscore a complex interplay of international relations. Recent visits by high-ranking U.S. intelligence and defense officials to Nairobi, including CIA Director William Burns and Africa Command General Michael Langley, highlight the strategic importance of Kenya in the broader regional security landscape. While the specifics of these visits remain undisclosed by the government, they signal deepening cooperation between Kenya and its Western allies, particularly in the realm of security and intelligence sharing. Kenya's public support for airstrikes against the Iran-backed Houthi rebels, accused of targeting ships in the Red Sea, aligns with Western interests in combating terrorism and ensuring maritime security. This alignment of interests has led to increased diplomatic and military engagements between Kenya and the U.S., culminating in Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's recent visit to Camp Simba in Manda Bay, Kenya. During his visit, Austin praised the strong relationship between U.S. and Kenyan forces, emphasizing their joint efforts in addressing security challenges. The signing of a five-year defense agreement between the United States and Kenya underscores a commitment to strengthen counterterrorism efforts in East Africa and support Kenya's leadership role in regional security initiatives. Additionally, Kenya's willingness to lead a multinational security mission to combat gang violence in Haiti demonstrates its growing role as a security provider beyond its borders. Despite these diplomatic and military overtures, the deployment of Kenyan police officers to Haiti as part of the multinational security mission faces legal and logistical challenges. A recent ruling by the Kenyan High Court deemed the deployment unconstitutional due to the lack of a police sharing agreement between Kenya and Haiti. However, efforts are underway to address these concerns through the negotiation of a memorandum of understanding between the two countries, paving the way for the deployment of Kenyan police officers to Haiti. In parallel, the United States has pledged financial and logistical support for the Haiti mission, emphasizing the the urgent need for international cooperation in addressing the security crisis in the country. However, securing international funding for the mission remains a significant challenge, despite the worsening security situation in Haiti. Against this backdrop of diplomatic negotiations and logistical preparations, Haiti continues to grapple with escalating violence and political instability. The absence of elected officials, coupled with widespread gang clashes and anti-government protests, underscores the urgent need for a comprehensive political solution. The United Nations Security Council's approval of the Kenya-led multinational security mission represents a critical step towards restoring stability in Haiti. Yet, the mission's success hinges on securing adequate funding and navigating legal and logistical hurdles. As the international community works to address Haiti's security crisis, the plight of civilians, particularly children, remains a pressing concern. The escalation of violence has led to a surge in displacement, with thousands of Haitians forced to flee their homes. Humanitarian organizations, such as UNICEF, are working tirelessly to provide assistance to displaced populations and mitigate the impact of the crisis on vulnerable groups. So, Kenya's role in the multinational security mission to Haiti reflects its growing influence as a regional security provider and strategic partner of the United States. However, the success of the mission hinges on overcoming legal and logistical challenges, securing international funding, and addressing the root causes of Haiti's security crisis. As diplomatic efforts continue, the international community must remain committed to supporting Haiti's path towards peace, stability, and democratic governance.